How's it been a secret? I mean, it's not a secret. My personality is kind of like single-minded and skateboarding came into my life and I was like, oh my God, this is it. As soon as I locked in on that, my guitar playing just kind of faded slowly. I am Paul Martin Rodriguez and I am known for riding a skateboard. I didn't realize it until right now, but I got nervous you guys filming me and playing like, <laughs> I, was wondering, I was like, dude, I jam so much better but I'm going on by myself, what's going on? Welcome guys, uh, we're here at my house. So welcome, thank you for coming. So here's the bedroom. Got my guitars close by, Fender Mustang. I got this one in 1996. I wanted this one because it looked similar to the one Kurt Cobain was playing in one of their last concerts for the In Utero album. Begged my mom to get me and she got it for me. Here I have it, what, 26 years later, 27? Jeez. Yeah, but Nirvana was always my favorite. Yeah, we're having a good right-handed day right now. I started off right-handed playing guitar. I didn't know that there was right or left-handed. But then once I learned more about guitar, I started playing, and of course, Jimi Hendrix and Kurt Cobain being heroes of mine, they're both left-handed players. I'm naturally left-handed in general, so once I realized that they were left-handed guitar players, I was like, wait a minute, dude, I wanna be like my heroes, and I am left-handed, I'm left-handed like them. I made myself learn how to play left, because I was like, no, I gotta do it. Well, Nirvana's been my favorite band since I was really young. Why I learned them is because they're just like the jams that I grew up on that I have lots of memories and nostalgia for. And, you know, I'm not like a super advanced guitar player. They're pretty basic level guitar songs. So like, it's right at my skill level to be able to learn them. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not gonna be able to learn like Jimi Hendrix songs anytime soon. You know what I mean? Or like super advanced ones. I know I can learn them, but that'd be my like me skipping steps. Like I should just learn at my level, improve there, one step at a time, you know? During my years when I was playing guitar, that's all I was thinking about. I was drawing pictures of guitars, of my dream guitars I want, drawing pictures of like being in a band. As soon as I get home, I would just play, play, play until my mom told me to go to bed. Before school, I would play. All my mind ever thought about or cared about coming up was just that. I wouldn't say guitar taught me how to be obsessed. I think that was my natural disposition. Like as a kid, I grew up in the house by myself and I was always a dreamer, always imagining. So like if I would find a hobby, I would be locked in. Team sports, I love them. I played baseball, played basketball at school. I loved it, but what I hate is I get so obsessive that I have to play it all the time. And with team sports, you have to wait for other people. But with guitar, I didn't need nobody. I didn't wait on anybody and I just played. If you just want to play and perfect your craft, you don't need anybody. Same thing with skateboarding. Like, it's funner when you go skate with your friends and whatnot, but like, I didn't have to wait. I can go in the backyard or the front yard and I could just skate my ass off till I was content for the day. I was able to obsess on it and not have to wait for anything. I don't have a work ethic if I'm not passionate about it. School, I didn't do shit, dude. I had terrible grades, didn't give a damn about school, it meant nothing to me. Skateboarding, it didn't even feel like a work, I didn't even know what a work ethic was. It just felt like I was compelled to do it. I had to do it. I woke up every morning, this is what I have to do. If I don't do this, then life doesn't feel like worth living. That type of vibe, you know? So I'm just a person who's led by passion. I started Christmas of 1996, just before I turned 12. As soon as I stepped on a board, it was the same thing as like when I first saw a guitar. It was just like, I have to, I have to. This is for me. I think a lot of, of learning guitar spilled over into skateboarding. And when you're that young, you know, and you don't have adult responsibilities, you can literally spend your whole day, even if you're not physically playing, or when I wasn't physically skating, I was mentally playing, or I was mentally skating. In 
now actually trying to be humble and not saying it cocky, but now that I've mastered one thing, I've learned how to learn. Yeah, are you guys ready to go do the tour? Yeah, absolutely. OK. Heck yeah. I'm so curious to see what, like, how I never thought about, like, the factory and how they would be manufactured and yeah. stuff. Like, do you guys still do the Jag stain? We've reintroduced it, and then I had one of those as a kid. I thought it was the coolest thing There's ever. There's like three different versions of that guitar. Is it true that, some controversy around that, that Kurt Cobain worked with you guys to, to start that one? Or he, it yeah, the one? custom shop was relatively new at the time. And he's like, I got this idea, because he loved the Mustang. Yeah, he loved the Mustang, the and Jag. he loved the Jaguar. He loved all that offset stuff. So he wanted to kind of blender the two and make this thing. Those are my favorite bands. So like, when I was 11, I got mine in 96. And then okay. my dumb ass ended up, once I started skating and not playing guitar as much, a friend of mine played guitar, I gave it to him. Oh. I know, I know, I gave it to him. Like, he still has it, I still, I still know him. Oh, you just kicked that door in, go yeah, get it. Yeah, he was like, hey man, let me get that back. <laughs> Unfortunately, possession is nine tenths of the law, from what I understand, so yeah. Uh, as soon as I start playing guitar, I feel exactly like I'm nine, 10 years old again. And how much I used to dream about being a musician, about having my own band, about playing concerts, fucking rocking the crowd. That all comes back to me. Like, it keeps me in touch with dreaming and imagining. We have one life to live, and I want to live the most coolest life that I can imagine. And if I don't have an imagination, then it's like I'm almost on autopilot. Go to school, go to work, get married, have kids, retire, die. You know what I mean? Like, I don't believe life has to be that way. Life could literally be whatever you can imagine it to be. So if you don't keep your imagination vivid, if you don't keep it growing, then you're just gonna be on like a default mode and just whatever life ends up being, whatever life hands you instead of what you decide to create. Fender was always my number one guitar that I always wanted. For some reason, never got a Stratocaster. I always, you know, when I got the Mustang, the Jags thing, I kept getting sidetracked by trying to have the same guitar as Kurt Cobain. I'm gonna be playing my ass off and, you know, you'll see soon, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get better quick. I'm Paul Martin Rodriguez. I'm a skateboarder and I'm a guitar player.